Lord, we bow and worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Immortal God, El Shaddai, holy, holy, holy is your name. Here we are this morning again to worship. Here we are at this time to bow down. Here we are to say you are our God. All together holy, all together faithful, all together wonderful to us. How can we ever know how much it costs to see our sin upon the cross? We thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. We thank you for the blood that was shed. And we say we are exalted in Jesus' name. You have come here for this moment of 10 minutes with God. Do a new thing in Jesus' name. Amen. Do the extraordinary in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. We are saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody say thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are saying, we are saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody say thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We I say, we are saying, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jehovah, thank you, everybody say, thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, all we have to say is thank you, Lord, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Ba 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 ba. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. I want you to Baba. There is none like you. Oh, no one else can touch my heart like you do. Like you do, Baba. I can search your eternity more and find there is no like you. You are, you are, you are the most I got in you, but you are, you are. You are the most I got, Jehovah. You are, you are. Oh, you are the most. Oh, you are, you are, you are. You are the most I got. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. In the book of Psalm, chapter eighty-one and verse ten, the Lord gave us a command in that place. He said, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. What did he say? Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Come on, sit down. The Lord said there in Psalm 81 and in verse 10. Psalm what? 81. Psalm 81, verse 10. He said, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. That is what the Lord says. Now, let us look at it together. When the Lord said, open your mouth wide and I will feel you, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means when you feel your mouth, you can say, yes, you open your mouth wide, you feel it with food. When people are hungry, that is divine provision. That can be an interpretation. But the main thing God is saying is that apart from food, what is the mouth used for? For speaking. Apart from for eating, we are called for speaking. In fact, we speak more than we eat. The time that we speak, using the mouth is more than the time that we that we use the mouth for eating. We use the mouth for eating morning after maybe night, maybe twenty minutes to eat, or ten minutes, or five minutes, depending. But speaking, ah, when you meet your friend, you can speak for hours. You speak and speak and speak and speak. 
The Lord is now saying, open your mouth wide and I will fill it in Psalm 81 verse 10. Number one, he's saying, when you need food, I will give you food that will satisfy you. But that is not the real meaning. Because food does not satisfy the mouth. Where does food satisfy? Where does food satisfy? Where does food satisfy? The belly. So if you want to give us food, you will have said, I will give you food in your belly. It's not food in your mouth. Though, the Bible says again, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits. Who satisfy thy mouth with good things? So, we can also say that when we open our mouth, God will satisfy with good things. God give us good things, good food. Not anyhow food. And he will do it in Jesus' name. Amen. He has been doing it before, he's doing it now, he will still do it in the future, in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, in the Lord's prayer, give us this day our daily bread. He will supply for us our daily bread in Jesus' name. Amen. When he says, open your mouth wide and feel, he's saying that you are going to become a speaker. You are going to become a talker. You are going to be someone that will just speak to people. What you are going to say, God said, open your mouth wide. I will put words in your mouth that I'm going to say. God said, anywhere you appear, just open your mouth. What will be coming out of it is what I put inside of it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. He's saying that when you get to any place and you there, he says it's your turn to speak. You open your mouth. God said, I will feel it. But don't go for an interview that I'm not prepared for, and then you'll be quoting that scriptures. You may go to some and God will feel it you, like that. But you also need to do some homework. Go and learn about the company. If it's an exam, go and read about the exam. Go and read about the paper. Read around. Then when you get to the interview, when they ask you a question, God will give you what I want to say among everything that you have, you have gathered. Praise the Lord. But if by chance you have ever read something, God can still open your mouth wide and you will speak what you're supposed to speak in Jesus' name. God will put favor in your mouth. God will put power in your mouth. God will put victory in your mouth. God will put breakthrough in your mouth. God will give you success in Jesus' name. All enemies that are standing against you, God will discomfit them for your sake in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes and we're going to talk to God and say, Father, I come to you according to your word today. I open my mouth wide, feed it in Jesus' name. I open my mouth wide, feed it in Jesus' name. I open my mouth wide, feed it in Jesus' name. Somebody was speaking to somebody, asking the person to come and take a lower role. And the person lambasted the person. Oh God, I don't want to be like that person that was lambasted. Because the person did not speak well. Lord, help me to speak well. I open my mouth wide this morning, feed it in Jesus' name. Oh God, give me wisdom of speech. Give me the gift of the God, the gift of the God, the gift of speaking, the power to speak appropriately in the name of Jesus. The grace to speak with unction, the grace to speak with power, the grace to speak with divine enablement. Lord, give unto me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. I will not speak foolish things. I will not say stupid things. I will speak the word of power. I will speak the word of authority. The word that I speak, Jesus said, they are spirit and they are alive. Lord, the word I'm going to speak will be spirit to be alive in Jesus' name. Make the word I speak to be spirit. Make the word I speak to be life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus himself said, the flesh profited nothing. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are alive. Lord, let your word be spirit unto me. Let your word be life unto me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Lord, I will open my mouth. Where I need to speak, I will speak. And I will speak power in Jesus' name. Where I need to speak, I will speak. And I will speak authority in Jesus' name. Where I need to speak, I will speak. And I will speak unction in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Jehovah, Lord God, I shall die. We thank you for this morning. You gave us a command. It is not a... It is not an uh, alternative. He said, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. That means anywhere we are, you are supposed to speak for you. And speaking for you does not mean we should be saying Jesus is Lord or God so loved the world or repent and, and forsake your sin. We can speak for you in the place of power. Just like Judah spoke for you. And he spoke for his father. 
and he spoke for a generation. He didn't know what he was speaking for. He was speaking generations and generations ahead. And Joseph could not hold it. He began to cry. Judah did not tell Joseph that Joseph forgive us. He didn't say, he didn't just be plead to him. He was speaking something extraordinary. And that thing touched the heart of Joseph. Lord, the words that we will speak everywhere, even our appearance, it will touch the heart of people in Jesus' name. It will touch the heart of people in Jesus' name. He spoke so much. His father said, Ah, ah, the scepter shall not depart from Judah. No, a lawgiver from between his feet. The father has been watching how he spoke. Is this one is speaking like a king? This one is speaking like a ruler. This one is speaking like a leader. Oh, in among my sons, I will make him to be a leader. And when the time came, the man opened his mouth and said, The scepter, the scepter shall not depart from Judah. No, a lawgiver from between his feet. Until she will come, unto him shall the God of people be. Lord, I pray. Give all this gift of speaking well in Jesus' name. Amen. As we now open our mouth, help us to speak as we ought to speak in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. Thank you, Lord. This blessed day is in your hand. Go with us in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Ten times now we are going to say, I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Let's go. One to go. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. One. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Two. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Three. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Four. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Five. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Six. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Seven. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Eight. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. Nine. I will open my mouth wide and God will fill it. In Jesus' mighty name. And so shall it be. As you open your mouth, God will fill it with words of power in Jesus' name. Words of authority in Jesus' name. Words of provision in Jesus' name. We'll sit together again in 10 minutes with God tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.